So, you just died from hydrogen sulfide poisoning and things are not looking good. Since hydrogen sulfide comes from the bacterial breakdown of organic matter in an oxygen-free environment, you're probably laying in a poorly ventilated manure pit. And anyone who comes in after you has the same risk of dying that you did. But let's put all that aside and focus on how dying from hydrogen sulfide may actually be a decent way to go. The good news is you're not alone. According to one theory, more than 250 million years ago, hydrogen sulfide played a role in the Permian-Triassic extinction event. Yep, an extinction event. Turns out sewer gas is the deep impact of waste byproducts. It's known as the Great Dying, and it made Pangaea see the pain. In the event, 90% of the planet's marine species died out, and 70% of the planet's reptile, amphibian, insect, and plant species were also lost. How did one gas do all this? Well, the story goes that the ocean was severely deficient of oxygen, and temperatures worldwide were high. This created the perfect environment for blooms of anaerobic bacteria. Bacteria created huge amounts of hydrogen sulfide, extinction-loving hydrogen sulfide. It's just one theory, but it puts hydrogen sulfide's kill count way above any other poisonous gas, so good choice. You died in a super gross way at the hands of a proven world killer. Still, if I were you, I'd probably pick another poison. You never know what else is out there. As always, please subscribe for more shows, and if you have a poison you'd like to know more about, let me know in the comments.